For my winter approach, I uh, base it on two parts. First of all, solid bags, and secondly, small bit baits, small fluoros, 10 millers, round dumbbell, maybe even 12 millers. And I like to give myself options when I fish, so I vary the colours and the sizes, uh, depending on working on the day. So a uh, nine hour session, I might go through six or seven different types and varieties of hook baits. My personal preference is our Scopex Orange, 10 mil, round and dumbbell. Very vibrant, they smell great, and those ones I've got ultimate faith in that they're gonna reduce me a bite on the day. When I go in winter, I like to fish waters whereby you've got a chance of a bite Maybe not massive fish, but for me, time is limited and I like to try and put a fish on the bank like we all do. Within my bucket, many options there. White and black have always been good for the winter and very early spring. Chop malt, little white ones. I like to fish these as single baits, little balance baits, or I like to fish them on little snowmans. They'll give those a go there, um, they really do smell particularly great and uh, I'm sure they put the fish on the bank and the combo pop-ups we've got here the peach and black 10 millers again these are just in round the black and whites these combos especially for little zigs you can either have the black facing up or you can have the white facing up or you could have both I do like those um, especially on the zigs where the presentation I particularly like is to get that bite is to use some sort of attraction, whether it's powder, whether it's liquid or, or pellet. So I've got a few options here. This is our V-Cloud range. This particular one is a V-Cloud berry. It's a red colour. It's a mixed berry. Very gloopy. What I particularly like about this product on a pop-up is when you actually dip your hook bake in it. So here, I've got Scopex. It's quite a thick liquid, so you need to give it a shake. It really does cling to the bait. What that does, it will actually sink the bait to start with. After a period of time, that liquid will actually come off that bait, and that will just give you a nice balanced presentation. If a fish comes disturbed to the area, the liquid doesn't actually disperse. It actually settles back down in the area where you're feeding to leave the area of attraction and the chance for that fish to come and pick it up again. As you can see there, well, I hope you can see there, it's just starting to come off. To add another little bit of attraction, I've got here a very fine V cloud. This is the creams in a yellowy orangey color. Very, very fine powder. Try and give it a shake. I'll just get my hook bait to give a nice coating and that will actually disperse quite quickly off the bait when you put it in the water but leave obviously the gloopiness of the V cloud berry on there that will actually give you hopefully a, a quick bite if you've got fish in your swim and you see fish showing so definitely give those two a go it's worked well for me and I'm sure uh, it will work well for you the other approach is a solid bags we recommend these to uh, a lot of the anglers and they do particularly well. So we've got the Gremlin which is a really high betaine pellet. We've got the M&Ms, the 1 mil. What I would say with the 1 mils, the C2, the C2R, the 2 mil Gremlin, in terms of water stability, make sure you add a little bit of liquid to make sure it sinks that pellet and keeps it around your hook bait for that bite. If you don't do that, you do get, sorry about that, you do get an area where the pellets will float up which you don't want and that's because we're approaching winter, is the Weight Watcher. And here I've got the three mil. We have them in four different sizes, up to eight mil. I prefer to give my pellets a small pellet within the PVO bag to make sure it's nice and tight. And when it breaks up, it will just burst that bag open and leave your hook bait nice settle in the middle. So we've got the Gremlin, the M&M, and the Weight Watcher. These are three which I prefer to use. You can add the C2 and C2R, which again is very, very fine coffee granules. Last one, but at least, we've got an amino dip here, which is our own blend in-house. This is the original. We also do a CSL one. What I like about this is very quite watery, uh, which will then actually, when you put it into your foam or your plastics or, your, or whatever bait, it will actually come off that bait quite quickly. Quite a lot of high-intense sweetener in terms of a cream in here. It does smell particularly great, 
uh, this is one which I've used through the Windsor and has worked well for me and was actually partly developed by Dean Goodwill, one of our consultants and he's, uh, I'm sure in the videos to come he will talk quite highly about this product. Well that's my winter approach. So to cap it off we've got the small pallet within the range, we've got the small floros in the round and dumbbell in mixed colours, shapes and sizes and then we've got the V-Cloud liquid which come in various colours, 125ml bottles and the 1 litre jars for the powders. If you need any information please just go onto the website, have a look, if you want to speak to myself or Shane, go onto the contacts page, give us a call and we'd be more than happy to help you. Cheers.